Hey guys, it's Ryan Dunn from Forward Entertainment. We're here to talk to Fallen Legion and see what they're up to. I'm at the rehearsal factory right now. Follow me inside. So we're on the roof of the rehearsal factory here with Fallen Legion. Guys, how are you doing today? We're doing great, Ryan. How are you, bud? Great. It's a beautiful day. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me, by the way. It yeah, sure is. Man. Thanks for coming out tonight. Hey, look. There's Remy. Hey, it's our landlord. Hey! What the fuck's going on up here? I'll tell you what I don't like about these guys. They're always late on rent. I always gotta grab the money from the goddamn chalkboard. For one thing, they're up here on the roof without my, per without me giving them permission. Actually, on that note, get the fuck off the roof, guys! I got work to do. So we're gonna try this again. Forward Entertainment here with Fallen Legion. We're going to be talking about what we can expect to see from these guys in the future. First question I have for you is, where did you get the band name from, Fallen Legion? Well, the name Fallen Legion actually is a bit of a compromise of a few ideas we had. We started out as Mensria, Entropy shortly after, and one or two other ideas. But basically, we came up with the idea of First Choir, which represented the first set of angels to fall to Satan. And after a bit of talking turned into Fallen Choir, and then eventually we settled with Fallen Legion because we felt it made a bit more sense and flowed off the tongue a little bit better. Metal. We like to take influences from many different aspects of the music spectrum, but it, at the end of the day, we are a metal band. Is there any hidden meanings in your lyrics or in your music in general? Yeah, usually there's uh, two stories. There's always the main story for um, everyone that's going to catch it, and then there's always going to be a subplot, which is usually my personal take on the song or uh, personal experience that I had that I am just turning into a story or into some try to make it so someone can relate to. Uh, but in all reality, it's just however the listener wants to interpret it is the way they're going to interpret it. Well, we're actually, we're looking for a new bassist right now. We got a couple guys that we're trying out at the moment, and uh, it's been going really good, but we're hoping to put out our CD soon that we've been working on for, like, the last couple years now, but we've had some sort of setbacks putting it out. But luckily, as soon as we're done putting it out, we're basically ready to go back into the studio and start cranking out some new music. So we're going to try to keep the ball rolling and let people know that, you know, we're doing our thing and we're still going hard. We got a show in London at uh, the East Village Collective. Arts Collective. East Village Arts Collective. You talk yes, about right. that, Dylan. Uh, that show is actually being set up by my cousin, so like it's uh, it's it's kind of it's going to be like a really a special show for me, just because like I'm going to get to going to get to go travel and see her. Um, There's also a show at the Rock Pile. Oh yeah, that is a that's a two day festival. Uh, we're playing on day one. Um, and that would be 5555 Dundas Street West. <laughs> and 
yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a huge show. There's there's gonna it could because it's on Canada Day. There's gonna be fireworks, barbecue. There's two stages, one inside and one outside. It's gonna be sick. Go to it. Awesome. Lockdown Fest. Not check slip. it out with Not Slip and many many more. So come check it out and be a part of the crowd. Be there. <laughs> Is there anything specific we can expect to see in that show? Ooh, <laughs> just some just some craziness yeah. all around. Oh, Anytime yes. we can get the fans yeah. to go crazy for us, it's it's always a riot. We try to we try to mix things up when we play, whether it's you know wearing different outfits or trying different stupid things on stage when we play. But we try to keep our shows engaging for the audience, so that you know something a little more than just watching a band regurgitate their music, right? Where can uh, the viewers actually go to see and listen to your music? Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we have a song, Dark Harvest, on SoundCloud at the moment. Um, the, the, the tag for it would be uh, 6 Fallen 6 Legion 6. You can also check us out on YouTube. Um, I think that's everything. And for look, if they were to look you up on Facebook, it's just Fallen Legion. There's no six Fallen Six Legion Six. Yeah, it would. It, it's just Fallen Legion. Make sure to put it in all in all caps because like we like to be egotistical. I cannot determine why. I'll ask everybody. We'll start with you, Nick. Uh, well, like my musical influences are always changing. Uh, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling during the day. I mean, like it doesn't take just a day to write a song. So sometimes the inspirations will change as I write a song. So it just, like I said, kind of depends on how I'm feeling for the day. If I'm feeling great, certain emotions will come out that people can relate to, but also I find a, the stress of life and all this bullshit is, uh, brings out a lot of inspiration too that hopefully a lot of people can relate to. Exactly. And what about you, Jeff? Um, my inspiration started just when I was young with you know hearing Iron Maiden with Bruce Dickinson and you know, Judas Priest, Rob Halford, and the Nice Earth, and uh, but my main influence for like heavy metal and uh, different genres of metal would have to be uh, Danny Filth from Cradle of Filth. Uh, when I was young, I um, my cousin left one of his CDs, Midian. At the time, it was like pretty new, so I was like, oh, I'll check this out. So I threw it in there. I scanned a couple of the songs, and Her Ghost of the Fog stood out, and I listed that from through and through, and uh, I never knew that someone could actually do those things with their voice so right then and there i was like that's what i want to do i'm going to find a band i'm going to learn how to do vocals like that going to befriend somebody within that band and then i'm just going to one day hopefully open up for them so there's that and then like nick said there's always changing of different influences and uh recently i've been getting into uh, vale Maya that these guys have been showing me and there's just so many more that uh, that are coming up, but uh, always changing. And Dylan, what about you? Any individuals that give you inspiration? Yes. We have Vinnie Paul. He's the drummer of Pantera. He's awesome. Uh, listen to them. Uh, there's Lamb of God with Chris Adler. Um, you know, if, if he was an anime character, he'd be the god tier guy. Um, <laughs> listen to them. Uh, we have Mario Duplantier from Gojira. He is, uh, he's awesome. Listen to them. Uh, we have, uh, that I have, they're, they're Sylvie and uh, Duplantier. Well, not Duplantier, Sylvan Bouvier. There you go. Uh, in, the, in the band Trapalium. Uh, they're, they're from France. Uh, they're, they're really jazzy. They're, they're really awesome. Listen to them. Um, and then uh, Travis Barker. He's the, he's the guy that, like, when you when I was young, it's, it's I want to play drums. I want to be able to hit stuff like he does. And, uh, you know, Blink-182, listen to them. Uh, and that's, that's it. That's, well, not, not that's it, but, like, that's the, the ones that I'm listing right now. There's many more. I could probably go on all day, really. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm curious about is with all these creative juices flowing and everything that you guys are doing, is there any arguments or any confrontations that come up when writing music yes yeah. all the time yes all oh. the time basically never stops uh any specific ones in general uh there's like like we don't know 
well, like just last week. Um, but but no, no, we always we always <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, always, no. we we get we get over things. You know, like we always we work everything out. We we have a good understanding. There's no huge egos of like it's my way or the highway. Um, it's compromise. We, yeah, yeah, a lot, lots of lots of compromise. But we're being a family. When yeah. you when you get like a group of guys together and we spend a lot of time together, like you're gonna have differences. You're gonna have clashes of uh, influence and opinions and stuff like that. But it's it's the compromises and getting over our differences that makes us not only a better band and creates better music, but makes us better people to work with. And it's a lot of fun. It's a growing experience. Um, yeah, you just don't ever give up on your dreams. Once you find something that you want to do, don't let people's opinions try and put you down. Just, you know, just keep on going. Um, I remember when I was seeing these guys at the Atria in Oshawa there, uh, I was always like, I got to find a band like this. I got I to gotta join a band like this. And then look where I am now today. I'm hanging out with these guys, writing some awesome music and, uh, pushing me to my limits with uh, my vocals and stuff and I'm learning a lot from them so just never give up on your dream and just keep at it thanks a lot for your time guys uh, if you want to see more of these guys check out their YouTube channel Facebook Twitter and rate and subscribe hey guys make sure you check out Backlash in the act of violence challenge accepted this is Death Valley and drag the lake Last of a dying breed, thrown to the wolves, luminaires, and out of my league. My home, the catacombs, do vigilance. This is a crisis, Voltang, and screams of Deimos. Daniel.